down. It was the start of the last quarter, and he come down, run inside 50, and I looked at him. I didn't know what he was doing. I thought he was sort of lost or confused coming up the wrong end. And then he looked at me and he says, up the ground, boys. It's my 50. I'm inside 50. Offhands, Grimer snaps and snaps a beauty. I reckon the goal was a bit of a fluke myself. I can't believe Nathan's been walking around the gym likening it to, to Carey's goal. That one where he leant back on his left and put it through, he's likened it to that. Oh! He says, get around me boys. Actually, I'll rephrase that. He says, who's the man? I'm the man. Get around me boys. <laughs> First goal in football for Nathan Grimer. Can you believe it? Game number 72, he's got one and he's happy! Yeah, he was probably really happy with it. He's been practicing his left foot snaps for years, but first time I've ever seen him use his left foot in a game and it's come off, so yeah, he's pretty happy with himself. Have you practiced the celebration or anything? Because you just really let go when you kicked it, didn't you? All the boys give it to me because I've never kicked a goal and I celebrate them at training and um, yeah, no, I was probably over the top and I was pretty happy. Like, there was no need for it. Um, you know, we were up by 30, 40 points then. The game was over. Nani actually got to the fence, turned around, saw Kingy, ran back to Kingy, had his interview, came back, and then he said, hold off, blokes, I need to lead us off here. And then a hero comes along. Now, I've played with a lot of big names, and, you know, Kerry, Longmire, Rocker. Not one of them have ever, ever carried on like, uh, like Nathan Grimer. I've never had a post-match interview, and it's, yeah, you know, we take the piss a bit, because it's 72 games without a goal. You've got Dunstall, um, Wockett. Uh, the list goes on Kerry at this club, and now Grimer, apparently. What chance to Coleman next year? <laughs> well, I don't know. It could be that swing man. You just never know. <laughs> Get around me, boys. Give me a spell, Nani. But let's talk about the goal. It was brilliant. It, it was. Um, <laughs> what gets lost in it is that it was actually a bloody good goal. Like, it, it was my first goal, but I wedged. I kicked the left foot check side. Um, and I carried on like an idiot. So, since then, I'm going to nightclubs, drink cards, free entry. You know, I played 71 games before that, and I had to line up all night, but now I'm a rock star, so... When Wells came out of the centre and hit me up, I should have marked it. Um, I wasn't feeling the foot too much then, I can tell you. The limp went, and I just come up at the footy and spilled it. Um, and I thought I'd blown my chance, and uh, the footy gods, mate, they... <laughs> People that, people that know me uh, around the club obviously told me during the week that it was going to be an equal record, 72 games, uh, tied with a guy from the 40s. Um, yeah. Who goes 72 games without a goal? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, so we, we, we played it up a bit and I celebrated a few at training and then, unfortunately for me, I hurt my foot, but it was nearly worth it yeah. because I went forward and um, <laughs> got that moment. And, but, yeah, 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 yeah. and I'm riding on a high ever yeah, since. <laughs> But Nani, I admire someone who can take an opportunity and grab it with both hands. You certainly did that after the goal to promote your business, Endless Turf. Now, every single media interview you did, you plugged your business. 12 to 18 months ago, along with a business partner, Stefan, we, uh, we started a synthetic turf business. Well, as a, I don't get the, the opportunities of the swallows and out of the world, so I saw it as an opportunity. I actually bought a business card here tonight. I got about 50 to 60 to give away. But now you've mentioned it, so this year is uh, Endless Turf. Uh, this is a business card I have made up. It says um, synthetic turf specialist, but I'm not really a specialist, but um, just got that on the business cards to fool a few people. So, old lady said to me out in Greensboro, she goes, I hope you're better at laying turf than you are at playing footy. But I do work with a specialist team. We do synthetic turf all around Melbourne. I don't know who put this here, but this is one of our latest products as well. Uh, that's a 40 mil plush. <laughs> no, but all jokes aside, um, get online, endlessturf.com.au. Endless turf. Best synthetic turf, I'll do it with my shirt off, I'll come round. We've started small and, and dreamt big, but we can't sit here and say we're the best in the business, even though I do say that. We do a great job, we're the best in the business actually. No, I do have a turf company, a quick plug on over, endlessturf.com.au, get online, the first 10 callers, um, just actually get online. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing juicy like town. It's, pro it's probably a practical joke. <laughs> no, no, it's not. I, I don't want to give my number out uh, on national TV, but um, yeah, no, get really online and uh, we're the best synthetic turf company. people you've in the world. It's a company, you've got to give the number out at some point. <laughs> Yeah, obviously, you know, as I like to plug, I do have a fake there turf business. So, there it um, is. There it yeah, is. yeah. So, but I can't keep plugging that because we all know it's the best turf in Melbourne. My aim was to to work in the media, but unfortunately for me, I'm uh, I'm just uh, a bit of a battler on field. So even though every now and then 
some people laugh at what I have to say. 90% of the population see me on there and say, not this truck again. <laughs> Cat, this bloke can't even get a kick. Why is he on me TV? Tabasco size in the night. I hate hot things as well. Having a lot of these is going to hurt coming out. Oh man, that's upsetting. Man, that's getting hot. They're hot. This is a love job as well. I'm doing this for free and I'm eating 10 chilies. I don't think I can have many more. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're going pretty above and beyond over here. I'll have some water. Oh no, that'd be soft actually. Oh, shit. That's I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> wow, do you really, you are a badass. Uh, and I just, you know, try to show people, you know, you're just a normal bloke from Tassie. I didn't think I'd play a game, so here I am doing a bloody interview on Channel 7, uh, seven years later, so. I'd love to play for as long as I can, but um, if it ends soon, if it ended in a year or two years, I'd just be so grateful to North Melbourne and Neville Stibart. And as I said, we've done tennis courts, we've done uh, a soccer pitch. So yeah, the, the possibilities are endless. To, oh, that's one of the worst. <laughs> so don't ever put that on there. <laughs>